G'day everyone, Viv here. Hope you're all keeping well. It's Monday, a day late for the uh, painting vlog. So I thought it'd be about time that I got something up. Otherwise, if I don't do it tonight, it's just not going to get done and the week's going to disappear before uh, I know what's happened. So progress this week, pretty much mostly 40k stuff. Got the 10 Tactical Marines done, uh, painted up a drop pod, uh, two rhinos. Most of it's been quick shaded. Got a little bit of uh, other stuff done. I was working on some of the Reaper Bones figures, which uh, foolishly I picked up the other night. I didn't really need them, but uh, just went ahead and grabbed some anyway. Brought a bunch of uh, World War II 28 mil stuff home from the studio, which I want to start working on to uh, or sort of get some bolt action underway. I'm quite keen to start playing some of that. Bit of uh, Blood Bowl action hopefully going on soon too. Um, I've installed a ladder module on the Knights of Dice website where me and the guys can uh, sort of update our scores and find out who's king of the hill sort of thing. So without any more stuffing around, let's have a look and see what's been going on this week. So first up, the two rhinos. Um, I still need to quick shade the hatches on these so you might be able to see that um, they're still quite a bit brighter than the rest of the tank. Um, these I really didn't spend too much time on. I just sort of smashed them out a little bit, added different sorts of chipping effects and by the time the quick shade was added you can see some areas where it's really pulled up down the bottom here. All of the hatches and everything on the tanks are all magnetized so I can swap them all out for uh, various bits and pieces and yes you might be able to tell this is a, actually a piece that I cast. All, the, all the, the back hatches come off and they're all magnetized in two places so I can put this uh, hatch on or I can put the Razorback hatch on and switch in the different Razorback weapons or the Whirlwind weapons or um, I don't think the doors on these ones are magnetized I did sell a bunch of my rhinos and those were all completely uh, magnetized I was happy how these guys turned up very very simple jobs a little stencil for the tactical squad markings and I mean there are, were areas on these tanks where they were scuffed and scratched and whatnot and I didn't worry about patching those up so those two guys got done. Accompanying these two uh, rhinos was the CNC drop pod that I was talking about before. That's been uh, finished off. There is a hatch. I want to cast another one of these hatches um, to put in the top of this thing here just to sort of tie it in and 40 kify it. But this still needs to be quick shaded. Um, it was just uh, sprayed yellow with demonic yellow from Army Painter and then uh, did a little bit of chipping with a, a sponge and uh, got the airbrush on the bottom just to spray it black. The two rhinos, the drop pod, also the two dreadnoughts got uh, quick shaded. Um, I was happy with how they came up. They're plenty dirty. Uh, these haven't been anti-shined by the way, so they're still very shiny. But nice and dirty. I like the fact that uh, my marines at least will look dirty. Like they've been involved in battle. So those uh, two drop pods got finished off. Uh, these two dreadnoughts got finished off this week. And also I got 10 tactical marines. I really can't be bothered getting all of them out. These guys I, ha I was happy with. Let's zoom in on these a little bit if we can. Some of them have really pulled up really badly because I was a bit sloppy. I really wasn't paying attention. I was watching a uh, mm, historical documentary. So you can see in some places it's really pulled up quite badly. But can I be bothered? Not really. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on these guys. And Anti-shine aside, and the massive glooping and glumping, these will look a little bit different once they've been anti-shined. I'm happy with how they came up for, for miniatures that were quite literally sprayed, sprayed yellow and then had a couple of bits and pieces picked out. All up, I probably spent maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more working on these ten guys. There's five of them. I got uh, 10 of those guys done, so uh, happy with that. That's the uh, 40k stuff done. I still need to, as I mentioned, uh, just add some quick shade to the hatches, finish off the uh, the drop pod with a, with a quick shade, and those guys will be done. I might have lied a little bit on my Facebook update when I said I'd finished off the Saga guys. I haven't. They're almost done, 80%. Just need to finish off their pants. Uh, and and the, the the strapping and belts and all that sort of stuff. I did add a little bit of extra color to what uh, these guys for uh, Pulp City. Just added some some orange and some red to those guys. I don't I'm not a huge fan of these miniatures, so I'm finding it hard to to get them painted. 
uh, will slowly pick away at them and eventually they'll get done and look weird. I also did a little bit of work on some of these uh, bones figures that I picked up from some of the Reaper bones. Just this guy, he's like one of the troll sort of warthog sort of dudes. I washed him last night with a zoom and blue or whatever it's called. So now I need to start picking out these boils and pustules and highlighting and all that sort of stuff. So aside from that 40k stuff, I can't really think of anything else that I've finished off this week. As I mentioned though, I do have uh, a couple of things to finish off on those 40k models before I get onto some of that bolt action stuff for World War II. So as usual, thanks for tuning in again. That's my weekly update for what I've been painting so far. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time. See ya.